Andreas och Hekes får komma ett flyg så vi börjar Andreas berätta lite om dina tankar. Passa Swedish. Ah, not that. Okay. Uh, I'll try, I'll try to go to English then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are we are happy that we gave ourselves the chance to win today. We think we did actually. Uh, second half we play like we get on the ball and try to find the patterns that we want. We don't uh, create that many chances, uh, goal chances, but we I think we like trying to impose our will a bit on them, even though we are away from home. Um, can't say that we succeeded since we didn't score, but there's something there that was good. And then we need to look at how we come to, to actually score. We don't like crossing too much, obviously. We don't have the best place to, to head in the, in the box, but we need to find better patterns to, to come to finish. And also, um, as the played well, uh, being tight, together with the keeper and often blocking our shots. So we go home with a good feeling, but not with three good points. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks for speaking English. Um, <laughs> that's the first time I've understood some of the press conference, which is nice. <laughs> so, um, no, I think it, for me it was, uh, it was a good game. I think uh, for anybody watching, it was a, a good quality game. I uh, felt the first 10 minutes, we, we changed the shape today to a back three and and um, first 10 minutes, we were just finding our feet a little bit with that. After that, I thought that, uh, OK, the goal came from an error in our build-up play, but we, you know, we stressed the build-up play to the players, so mistakes are going to happen. Um, after that, I felt that the first half, we, we played well, we created some good chances, we moved the ball very well, um, and we caused a lot of problems in there. And then it was maybe the opposite in the second half, I think, uh, and then Hecken took the initiative much more. I think we found it hard to to pick up where we left off. We almost said, you know, we could have done without half time being blown and just carry on because we felt we had some good momentum there. But in the second half, Hecken uh, threatened a lot and they have real quality with the, the front four. So we knew that and we had to defend the box very well at times, which we did. Um, and we, we tried to restrict space uh, for their front four. Yeah, and in the end, I think we can say it's probably a, a fair result on the basis of the two halves and the amount of chances created. I think it was a really competitive game and, and a, a, a good game. Andreas Andreas gave a lot of space in the first half. We thought at the wings. Did you say something about that half time? That we gave us a shun space. Yeah, the space, yeah, and counter attack. Yeah. They got uh, wing backs today, uh, and we play the back four. And when they get on the ball on Kolket, when he like switches the game for them, it's we cannot manage to be out there and be in the center because we also want to pick up the, the players Islamovic on the on the balls there. So, yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, if we can manage to to be strong in the box on the crosses that come when they cross it, uh, that's. That will be good enough. Were you a bit disappointed at half time due to the, the flow of the game? Uh, well, usually when Nottesson switches it, it's Hussam who's out there on the side going one against one. So it was a, a bit different rhythm to, to defend against when he's not on it. On the other hand, the, I think maybe it was harder for us to, to actually score because sometimes when Hussam plays, the game opens up a bit both ways. Mm. Uh, so the rhythm was more, more tight for us. Um, well, uh, I, I wouldn't say that we were like really disappointed in half time. Uh, I think we had like, we can sense that they were getting closer to, they're really strong putting people in the box and when they get a lot of corners, they're really good there too, obviously scoring. So we were, um, yeah, we needed to adjust some things. Uh, we need to use our fullbacks in the build up a bit more. So the front three couldn't stop uh, us that much. We can like, get around them a bit. But then you know, we get around them, we need to get inside again because we don't have wingers in that sense. What were you expect second the point? Uh, are you pleased with anything individually or, or as a collective today? Yeah, yes, I think there's a lot of plays. Like we, I think we struggled in the period when, when Ostersund was, was playing their best in the first half. I think we struggled in the challenges uh, on the floor and in the air being strong. When Islamovic puts in his body, I think we were backing off a bit. I think we were better at that in the second half, actually, getting into challenges, fair challenges. I actually think it was a good game in that sense. It was like good ones, good yeah. players being like trying to win the ball. 
And we did that a bit better. And then you get maybe three or four more attacks thanks to that. And then you get some kind of momentum. Would you, would you have liked to see that you um, responded differently after taking the lead? Obviously, you gave it away just two minutes after. Or would you have done anything different there? Or? Uh, it's always like the corner is like a small touch on, on one of our players. And then you always think, damn, you like want to keep it away from them getting back that soon. Because we know like... They're good on, on corners. They have good, good players that can win in the air. But yeah, you never want to concede a goal. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> so. Ian, were you surprised about uh, the play in the second half that Hector took over significantly? Yes and no. Uh, I mean, based on the first half, I thought that we we started to have good control, good switches of play. Um, but uh, we know that Hecken have got quality. Uh, we've seen it in the previous games. We saw it last season. We saw it in the Cups. So we also respect that and know that there will be moments where you play against a, a team like that and that they are going to have the ball and that we have to defend and we have to respect that. And I think we've done that very well. Uh, we haven't become quickly frustrated that we can't always play exactly the game that we want and that we then work a different way to try and come in. The only thing I'd say is when we got the ball back then, I felt like we were too stressed to then try and attack straight away. We went down one side, uh, was maybe too impatient. And then once we got the ball back, I think we could have tried to, to build the play with longer attacks to try and almost rest with the ball because uh, we had to do a lot of work defensively in the second half. So I wanted us to try to retain the ball a little bit better when we got it. But we, we knew we were going to have to defend at some point through the game. And when we did it, we did it well. Substitutions today, was it to hold on to one point? No, uh, not at all. I mean, we brought on, I mean, Ludwig is his first start this year. I mean, uh, Marco, of course, also his first start uh, besides the cup where he came off injured. So I knew that Marco would be struggling after maybe 60 minutes physically. Um, so that was a natural switch. And then the second one was uh, again Ludwig's first start for us. Um, felt that we were starting to lose a little bit of shape. Like Andreas said, when they built with the full backs, they were coming round us a little bit too easy. So I wanted to switch to to put three in midfield and two two strikers. So not not so much to hold on, but just to try and uh, help disrupt their build up and get hold of the ball again. Mm. Andreas, do you sense some some change in Mastrichon's play with a new manager? Uh, no, I just think they are like moving there combination play to different areas and they can do that and uh, I'm, we don't know what is going to show up when we play them so they still <coughs> like we have to find out during the game but they also like I think right now they're really good combining at the at the wings getting it like down to um, to the goal line putting balls in from there and then they always have a cross if they need to so that's it, it would be interesting to be you know, play off in the NHL like this. This is the first game. Yeah. And then play <laughs> six more. Yeah. Actually, to to find like to develop in that case, but we won't see us this soon until September or something. Unfortunately. We so can talk to the Svensk football yeah. and see if they can fix something. <laughs> but you have to, 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 to have more the same tactical approach as uh, when Graham Potter was coach. Uh, the same. Well, first of all, we try to look at ourselves. First and foremost, uh, so in that case, yes. Uh, I mean, then it's also when you put Edwards and you put Hossam on the pitch, then it's a different rhythm. So it, uh, during Graham and now also, they are really skilled, like using the plays that they have to play and that are fit to play, and then creating something out of that. So that's similar. I think that's uh, it's still going on. So that means that it will always be difficult to come up here and play. No, I hope Hosam's ready for Hammerby. Um, so I'm I'm hopeful for that. He looked good today, but it's you know it's two games in very short time, and he's coming back from a hamstring injury, and it's not smart to try and put him through starting in both games. And we felt like this game was too soon, but Hammerby can be ready. So, and Curtis, we check him tomorrow. Um, just uh, blocked a shot in training and felt something so uh, in his leg. Um, yeah, so it was that was yesterday. So then it was, of course, too soon today. So we we, we see. I, I don't know so much. We have to check them tomorrow. But I'm I'm confident with Horsam. But and then Curtis, we we have to check. And this was the fifteenth uh, home game in a row. I think that you scored at home. How comfortable are you that you're going to score here? Just after the <laughs> Well, that's that's normally the plan. <laughs> so 
yeah, that's good. We, we're confident at home. You know, we haven't lost now this season, so we've been. I think we've played our best games at home. We have to try to take that away from home now. Some of the qualities that we've shown, because I don't think we've had the same quality and, and play away from home that we have at home. So I want us to try and transfer that. But yeah, we, we're always confident that we can perform and create chances at home. <coughs> No, not really. We don't. We don't. We're not flying yet. But also, we had uh, seven out of seven games. We have zero zero in half time in six. And this time we have one uh, one one in half time. So it's a uh, it's much closer league this season than it was has been before. Uh, so we just have to adjust to that. And we talk to the players about being really good in the when we're from sixty to eighty when when games tend to go into yeah when someone wins the game. So that's the thing. But otherwise, I'm just thinking of the flight. That is, I need to leave in one minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the last question, yeah. You took off uh, Paulinho. Were yeah. you a bit disappointed of him? The uh, well, uh, he uh, didn't play his best game. Uh, and we also need to put other players on the pitch because otherwise uh, it's hard to be the coach and tell them that they're good. So we have a lot of good players.